Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Data Science Nuggets. In today's video, we will be discussing the top 10 types of data bias in machine learning. Starting with the most important and basic question, what is data bias? Bias as a general term defines the tendency to lean towards a certain direction either in favor or against a given topic, person or thing. When it comes to data science, a biased dataset can be classified as one that doesn't represent a model's use case fully and therefore produces results that are skewed or inaccurate and includes analytical errors. The introduction of the term bias in machine learning space goes back to the paper written by Tom Whistle in 1980, which is called The Need for the Biases in Learning Generalizations. Nowadays, it concerns people when an assumption or a generalized algorithm produces a systematic prejudice. When an ML model is trained on biased data, it's thought that the output it will ill will not only be based on example or stereotypes, but actually amplify them in society. One example of such a situation was Amazon's resume filtering tool, which was later ended as it showed bias against women. This perspective became more common and concerning as AI-enabled services and tools started to play a bigger role in our lives, from smart devices and bot communication to medical diagnosis and recruitment decisions. I will link the article down below in the description for your reference. The first step in being able to eliminate such bias is to be able to identify them. Here are 10 types of bias that we have defined for you. Selection bias happens when the data used in training is not large or representative enough and results in misrepresentation of the true population. Sampling bias as a part of the overall selection bias refers to any sampling method which fails to attain true data randomization before selection. For example, a voice recognition technology is trained only with audio data language generated by individuals with a British accent. This model will have difficulty in voice recognition when an individual with an Indian accent interacts with it. This results in poor or low accuracy in performance. Next is overfitting and underfitting. When a model gets trained with large amount of data, it also starts learning from the noise and inaccurate data entries in the dataset. Consequently, the model does not categorize the data correctly because of too many details and noise. This situation is referred to as overfitting. Similarly, when a machine learning model cannot capture the underlying traits of the data, underfitting occurs. Underfitting is commonly observed when there is less data to build an accurate model or when a linear model is being built with non-linear data. Underfitting creates a model with high bias. A model with a high bias may not be flexible enough for predicting outcomes. Outliers are extreme data points in a data set that are exceptionally far from the mainstream of the data. Outliers can be caused by measurement or input error or data corruption. If an experiment's results are aimed at making decisions based on the average or the majority of the population, then extreme data points will alter this decision, causing bias in the output. Next is measurement bias. Measurement bias is linked to underlying problems with the accuracy of the training data and how it is measured or assessed. An experiment containing invalid measurement or data collection methods will create measurement bias and biased output. For example, when testing a new feature on a mobile app that is available both for Android and iPhone users, if you perform the experiment only with the subset of iPhone users, the results cannot be truly reflective and thus introduces measurement bias in the experiment. Moving on to recall bias. Recall bias is data commonly takes place in the data leveling stage when levels are inconsistently given based on subjective observations. This is also known as the false positive rate. In machine learning, recall is defined as a rate of how many unseen points a model labeled accurately over the total number of observations. Let's say a group of test subjects share how many calories they consumed per day over the last week. As they cannot recall the precise amount, they will provide an estimation. This estimate takes away from the true value resulting in a recall bias. Next is observer bias. 
observer bias or confirmation bias occurs when the conductor of the experiment integrates their expected outcome into the study. It can ha happen if a researcher starts on a project with subjective thoughts about their study, knowingly or unconsciously. An example can be seen in data labeling tasks where one data worker chooses a different level based on their subjective thoughts as opposed to other workers who follow the provided objective guidelines. Imagine the guidelines suggest that all tomato images should be tagged as food, yet one labeler believes that it should be classified as a vegetable and labels it accordingly. This will result in inaccurate data. Next is exclusion bias. During data reprocessing, features that are considered irrelevant end up being removed. This can consist of removing null values, outliers, or other extraneous data points. The removal process may lead to exclusion bias and the removed features may end up being underrepresented when the data is applied to real world problem and result in the loss of the true accuracy of the data collected. Let's imagine that referral rates from the English and Chinese version of the websites are being compared. 98% of the clicks comes from the English version and 2% comes from the Chinese version. One can choose to leave the 2% out thinking that it would not affect the final analysis. But doing so, one may miss that Chinese clicks have a higher conversion rate compared to English website clicks. This would lead to exclusion bias and delivers an inaccurate representation of the collected data. Next is racial bias. Racial bias or demographic bias occurs when the training data is reflecting a certain demographic, such as a particular race. When a model is trained on the racially biased data, the outcome itself can be skewed. Imagine that data or the image data used in training of self-driving cars mostly feature Caucasian individuals. This should mean that self-driving cars will be more likely to recognize Caucasian pedestrians than darker-skinned pedestrians, resulting in less safety for darker-skinned individuals as the technology becomes more widespread. Other forms of demographic bias include class and gender bias, which affect training outcomes in similar ways. Next is association bias. Association bias cues, mislets, or distorts the way a machine learning model learns to associate certain features to be true based on the training data. Essentially, this reinforces a cultural bias if the data was not collected thoughtfully. If the training data set labels all pilots as men and all flight attendants as women for the specific model, Female pilots and male flight attendants won't exist, hence creating an association bias. In conclusion, being aware of potential type of biases in your dataset is the first step towards eliminating them. With that knowledge, it is important to monitor the data preparation process closely to make sure the datasets are bias-free as possible before they are used in the training phase and similarly in the outcome phase. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such awesome content on data science. Thank you and happy learning.